and all these iron golems. Bam, all dead. Hey guys, what's up? Alex here. Today we're going to be reviewing possibly one of the biggest mods in the whole Minecraft. A ton of you have requested it, so we are going to be reviewing the Ore Spawn mod. I'm going to be splitting this into tons of parts right now. I don't even know how many parts I'm going to be splitting them in. But this part is just going to be weapons and tools. So, as you can see, there's tons of weapons. So, let's get started with them. This is going to be a really long video. Like this if you want me to continue the rest of the series. So, the first one is the Nightmare Sword. And it looks pretty good on me. Some of them look really oversized, so just letting you guys know. So the Nightmare Sword does 31 attack damage, fire aspect, knockback 3, and sharpness. So as you can see on an iron golem, tons of damage. So then the big bursa. This is one of them where it looks humongous. I mean, just look at that. Looks so beastly, but that would not, like, just be convenient. So this one has knockback 5, bane of arthropods, and fire aspect. And look how much damage. 500. One hit kill. So, um, this one, I'm trying to find something. Well, that's all I can do right now. So, this one, another one. This one looks really awesome. Look at this. Ooh. Yeah. Although the swinging looks kind of weird. But this one. 86 attack damage. Almost bye-bye, Iron Golem. Oh my gosh. Wait a second. It actually knocked the Iron Golem all the way over there and broke the fence. No, 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 no. Don't want all my fences to burn. The Iron Golem just did. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that was super powerful. The next one, the Slice. <clears throat> Once again, 500 attack damage, knockback, Bane of Arthropods, and Fire Aspect. For a lot of these, the 500 damage will be a problem, so, you know, you can just see the knockback. You can, you guys can probably imagine all the damage. Royal Guardian Sword, this one is epic damage. 750 attack and unbreaking, so, insta-kill with that one. Battle Axe. Looting 3, Unbreaking, and this looks awesome in your hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just imagine, like, imagine walking up to, like, it's like, walking up to a pig. Hey there, pig. Bam. Yay, free meat. So as you can probably tell, bam, 51 damage. Um, this one's pretty cool. Just because of the awesome looting and unbreaking. Next one, Queen Scale Battle Axe. This one basically looks the same. Ah, whoops. This one kind of looks the same, just different colors. And this one does 60. This one, well, this one only did 50. This does 672 and tons of enchantments. So, ultimate, um... Kill. So now the chainsaw. When you right click this one, it blocks, and then when you left click it, uh, 60 attack damage. And look, isn't that awesome? All these iron golems. Bam, all dead. So, and that's just the start of the weapons. I definitely, as you guys can see, won't be going over the recipes. <clears throat> Although for the rest of, for most of the rest of them, or at least for all of these and all of these. It's just regular um, crafting recipes with that item. So, for example, ruby sword would be crafted out of a stick and two rubies. Same way as all of the rest. Pickaxe, two sticks, three emeralds. St oh my gosh. I just accidentally broke my chest. Oh my gosh, that was so stupid of me. Okay, <clears throat> so let's just put all this stuff back, and, okay, I guess we're go just going to be reviewing all of these now, 
Um, yeah, I'll get back to the rest of them later. And it also adds in girlfriends, and you can tame them. So, pretty cool. So, let's spawn in some more iron golems. So, emerald sword, as I told you before, it's crafted the same way as regular sword, except with emeralds. So, 10 damage, sometimes 11, you know, for quick. But, not really anything special. Kyanite, 9 damage. Um, Tormen Tormenaline, basically they're all the same. The poison sword is actually pretty cool. Puts... Weakness, poison, and the wither effect on them. Er, yeah. So, that can definitely do a decent amount of damage. Attitude Adjuster. <laughs> oh, well, wow, let's just look at this. 86 damage, but it looked like it also had knockback. Um, Crystal Wooden Sword. Hmm. 6 attack damage. Hmm. That one's a cool one, though. Tiger's Eye Sword. This one. 12 damage. Looks really cool, too. So, um, yeah. That is it for this row of swords. So now, I know there were some swords I missed. Let's see. Rose sword was one of them. Big hammer. Ultimate bow. I'll review that one later, actually. Don't want to do that now. Experience sword. Squidzooka. Mantis claw. Rat sword. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna do them all in rows, so that, okay, so first, since this one wanted to run out of the way, the rose sword does 10 attack damage, um, and it's a pretty good idea. The big hammer, ironically, it's, like, not that big, this is the only one that's not that big, but, um, it's pretty good damage, 16, 15 damage, I think, yeah, 15 attack damage. Now the experience sword has sharpness 2 and unbreaking, 12.25 attack damage, and this one, when you kill, it well, it gives you more experience basically than normal. A squidzuka, when you right click, it like does that, spawn squids, wait, I think it spawns squids at least, it's a really weird one. So, hmm, that's weird, I can't figure out what this one does, but you guys can probably check it out if you download the mod. So the Mantis Claw then, 10 attack damage, and basically the Mantis drops it, you'll see that in the one with mods. So all of these, by the way, you right click block, except for, yeah. So then the rat sword, this one does 10 attack damage, and I'm pretty sure, like, the rat drops it, so that's how you can get it. It's pretty easy to get. So now we're going on to some of the tool sets. As you saw, the emerald sword, these are also like that, except these are actual tools. So, first we have all the whole emerald set. Let's just set the time today. So, as you can see, we'll look at the speed this boy. Whoops. <laughs> so, this, oh, so the pickaxe, it can mine obsidian. Takes kind of a while, though. As you can see, like that. And it has silk touch, which is pretty nice, because, and let's actually use this over here. So, over here. You can see, it's about the strength, I'd say, of a diamond pickaxe. Um, if anything, maybe a little bit slower. Now the emerald shovel, I'd say this is just as fast, or maybe even faster than a diamond sword, or diamond shovel. And then the emerald hoe, you know, hoes, and it's pretty good. And then last but not least, the emerald axe. I'd say about just as fast, maybe faster as a diamond axe. So, now, this one is the crystal wood pickaxe. You guys saw the crystal wood sword, so now we're going on to the pickaxe. So, you can see, it cannot mine obsidian, so don't try to mine obsidian with it. Now, the shovel, but 
it can mine kind of fast, I guess. It's like about the strength of maybe an iron pickaxe. <clears throat> and then the shovel. This is a pretty good shovel. I'd say equivalent maybe a little bit less than a diamond. And then the hoe. Same as always. Hoe's pretty fast. And the axe. Pretty fast, I guess. Maybe iron or stone axe. And by the way, these do the same amount of damage aside from... Well, basically they all do varied amounts of damage. That's all I can really say. So now, we're going on to some more of these. We're going to go on to the pink tourmaline set, if that's what you call it. I don't know. And the tiger's eye set. So, just to show you guys, this one cannot mine obsidian. Oh, wait, this one can mine obsidian, actually. Um, it was kind of slow. I'd say about the same speed, maybe, as the emerald pickaxe. And mine's pretty fast stone. <clears throat> so it's good. So now the shovel, really fast shovel. I'd definitely say as fast as diamond. Probably even faster. So. Now, the hoe hoes pretty well, so definitely a good hoe also, and let's check out its axe cutting skills. Okay, so really fast axe cutting, definitely faster than a diamond axe, I'd say. Okay, so the tiger's eye pickaxe, you guys can see, can also mine obsidian. Most of these pickaxes can. So it mines obsidian, and let's check out how fast it mines stone. Pretty fast also. And here, as you can see, is one of the ores that I'll be reviewing in the blocks section of this mod. And then the shovel, really fast shovel. Um, same with the hoe. And now this time let's check out the axe. This one, surprisingly, the axe is still pretty fast, but I don't think it's as fast as, oh no, it's way faster than the pink tourmaline axe. And by the way, these ones, like, they don't right click to block, although you wouldn't suspect they would, but some tools, some tools in this mod right click block, so it's pretty neat. So now we're going on to the last set of these kyanite pickaxes. You can see here, can mine obsidian, but it takes a really long time. <coughs> so, it takes a long time to mine obsidian, and stone is okay, I guess. Maybe stone pickaxe, or in between stone and iron. The shovel, okay, I guess iron maybe. The hoe, same as always, hoe, and hoe, okay. And then the axe, can chop relatively fast. So I'd say this is about the equivalent of iron. Now, ruby, I know that the scorpion drops this stuff. So it mines obsidian a little bit faster than kyanite. Quite a bit, actually, and shovel. Definitely faster. Oh yeah, let's just check out. So, definitely mines the uh, stone pretty fast. Let's check out, just so you can see. That's how long it takes to mine iron for this one. It takes, <clears throat> takes a bit longer. So, once again, onto the hoe. Same as always, hoe is pretty good. And then, let's see its chopping skill. Chop, 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 chop. So, definitely chops very fast. Um, well, not very fast, but definitely pretty fast. And just so you know, this ruby set, the pickaxe does 18 attack damage. The pickaxe. So, you know, definitely is pretty impressive that the tool can do more than, like, diamond sword. So, <clears throat> 
Now that we've finished this chest, we're going to have to move on. So these ones are actually kind of weird. Um, oh, I'm just going to do this. So the wrench kind of stairs going up. Well, the stairs going up, it kind of makes like, I guess you could put this next to your railroad track or something because of the redstone torches. Or you could just use this as regular, um, darn it, I just died, that was not smart. So, slash, game mode, zero. And I thought I could survive that, whoops, let's continue on. Well, I guess I got proved wrong. Now, I have to go back over here, and the staircase goes really, really high, so definitely something to think about okay so here we are where did all my stuff go okay great experience orb catcher this what this does is when you right click it it shoots a bunch of them out but let's say i kill something with this um Ugh. Well, basically, like, when you place them on the ground, experience comes to them, kind of. And you can get the experience. Here, let's just try killing a sheep with this, and you'll see what I mean. So, like... Over long distances, experience will come to you, kind of. Now, the red ant robot kit. This kind of spawns in like a pet. Looks really ugly. But, um, wait, I just spawned in another one. So you can ride it. And, yeah, you can just, like, ride around your world, world like this. They're not hostile. So... Yeah, they're very hard to kill, so like, this could be good for like fighting other people, or just roaming around your world, and then L shift to dismount, and then there's even another one, the spider robot kit, the spider looks really cool, I guess, um, it's a black widow, so, definitely looks cool, and this goes pretty fast. And it's so big that it covers a ton of distance. So, it's definitely something pretty cool. Some cool pets to ride around. Those, I guess, kind of should have been in the <clears throat> in the mob section. But, you know, they're items. So, I just reviewed them in this one. Wait, oops, let's just get rid of all the so now we are moving on to the last things, the ultimate set. So let's look at the ultimate sword. 46.25 attack damage and tons, tons of enchantments. Bam. It sets them on fire and it does a very decent amount of damage. The ult oh wait, whoops, I'm not even in the proper. Darn it. So, these mine obsidian and pretty quickly, very quickly actually, and there's my red ant, so look how fast they mine stone. That's like ultra, ultra, ultra fast. So, definitely way better than a diamond pickaxe, and look at the shovel. It's like you're in creative mode, you can just destroy stuff with this shovel, literally. And then the hoe, let's just get out of here. Look, 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 it doesn't just hoe one area. Bam, hoes that whole section. So, it's definitely really cool. The ultimate axe, as you probably expected. Bam, 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 really fast. And these all have the best enchantments. Almost efficiency, 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 and fortune. Which, fortune's really awesome with this. If you guys don't know what fortune is, when you, like, mine... A special ore or something, you get 
two back. Now the ultimate bow, um, flame, power, infinity, 44 damage, so it's definitely really awesome. And I'm pretty sure it has punch. So this is definitely good, and the, these weapons have to be really good to face some of the deadliest bosses. So that is it for all the tools and weapons in the ore spawn mod. I really hope you guys like this mod showcase. And and tell me if there are any other mods you'd like me to do. And be watching out for that second, for the rest of the parts of this mod. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.